Hey everyone, it's Barnaby Anderson, your co-host for Crypto to Next, and I'm joined today, as always, with my partner, Noble Dracon. Hey Noble, we got something exciting today. Hey, hey, what's up guys? Great to see you, great to hear from you. Uh, we are so excited. We uh, are recording this on Ethereum Merge Day. It, it just so happens. So, you know, hopefully things will be a whole different light on Ethereum. But with that being said, we're excited today because we're about to talk about Audius, the streaming service everybody was excited about the last two years and just see if they live up to the promise. Let's go check it out, guys. See you in there. Hey everyone, so here we have Audius.co and uh, this is, uh, they've been out for a couple of years now actually. They were launched back in the end of 2020 and uh, as a Web3 music platform, uh, which as you would know, if you've been listening to me and Noble for a while, why we're so excited about all this is because of our band Royalty.com, BandNFTs.com, our own take on Web3 music and everybody has their own take on it. And they're all a bit different, all the different sites, all the different platforms. And Audius certainly is different to the others that we've been reviewing. So, Noble, well, what's, what's your take on I love it? I mean, I, I, the, the message is great. This is a great website. You know, they've got explore, trending, hot and new. Uh, and then the message is so straightforward. Discover new and exclusive music, upload, share, listen, uh, earn audio token rewards. Regardless of whether the market's up or down, you know, you can't go wrong earning rewards. Uh, they got their blog, their token, their download. And you can start listening right off your browser. So I, I love it. Absolutely. So these guys are taking uh, a new a new take on streaming. So they're going up against, uh, obviously, the likes of Spotify. And it's the reverse of Spotify. With Spotify, we're all paying 10, 15 bucks a month or whatever. These guys are paying you. Uh, well, hang on. No, they're, it's free. The artists are getting paid. Noble, how does this break? How are we breaking this down? What's the because well, it says I guess they've got a, a whole setup, right? It's kind of a mixed bag. They actually pay the listeners for recommending, sharing, and giving information. Is how they start set it up uh, in tokens. And the idea is that the artists were supposed to earn income uh, from their streaming directly by earning audio tokens. And so they've got it all laid out to make it uh, available that for the first time. Artists are in control of their music and they're receiving tokens as they play. But some things are not the way I thought it was going to be when I first learned about audience and, and what they're going to do. And it's kind of, you know, we've been talking about doing so a deep dive. Yeah. So basically, so this firstly, it's a website, audius.co, and it's an app that you can go and download on your iPhone or your Android. And I just clicked on the the button over here start uploading today so i'm just looking at this from an artist perspective first off so as an artist you can upload your tracks which i presume is giving rights over so you're you're basically saying hey uh, audience you can include this in your in your repertoire of all your streaming tracks and basically the learn more why, why would i do this because you go in you go in the running or well, basically those five top tracks every week get 100 uh, audio, which as of today, when we look at that, it's currently trading at 24 cents. Like if we go back in the maximum, when they first launched, they were, uh, yeah, they were around 18 cents when they first launched in October of 2020. They got up to $4 and the peak of 2021. Now they're back down at 24 cents. So when you earn, so the top five tracks each week receive 100 audio, which is about $24 at the moment. And they're showing the last week's winners. So they're winning. So basically the, the incentive is for the artists to list their music, which they do for free. And it goes into the streaming service, which we as listeners from listening to the app get to listen for free. So it's unlike Spotify, there's no charge here. Uh, but the, the top five will get about $24 worth of audio. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a kind of an interesting tactic in order to increase the number of people listening to the uh, app and to get people to get their fans to engage. But, you know, when I when I 
originally thought obvious and how it was going to function, I thought that whomever put up their music would get paid in the audio token as it played. This idea of just the top five people somehow winning or earning tokens, uh, it just doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't sit right with the way I imagined this was going to work. You know, if you're number 11 or number six, I mean, really, should you not receive tokens for adding more value to the platform? I just, I'm not quite sure where, where their logic is coming from and now making sure everybody who's uploaded music is receiving tokens. Yeah, I guess the, the point would be that as the platform grows, let's say they, one day they had 10,000 artists. Well, currently in this model, five of them being picked out from even from even 500 that's a one 500 gives you a one percent chance of being in there but if you had five thousand you've got a point one percent so uh it's it's basically there's there's not many artists to be honest clearly uh, so as it grows um that the artists in this current model unless they change things but they look it does all look nice and they've got this nice just like we do they've got this little let's 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 check it out let's click on one of these and just uh play it um about this now, one. mind you, these are probably just MP3s. These are not NFTs or anything. So, yeah, exactly. So, however, I mean, just the the style of the player down the bottom, like um, over on our band NFTs, when we click on this is the platform that myself and Noble have have built out. When we click, we can see that they, they're also similar to us. Spotify is the uh, the main design, the main UI that we're copying, and. So we can see here we've got the same little play down there, which is great because everyone's familiar with that. So they've built that. Um, and what we've done over at Band NFTs is we've created the, the artist tracks for the artist as an NFT that they can sell in a limited edition. So the artist is actually deciding themselves. The artist is saying, hey, fans, they're going to reach out to their fans and say, I've only got 100 or, or 1,000, whatever number of NFTs. And they're all you know, 50 bucks, 10 bucks, 100 bucks, whatever the artist wants. And it's a way for the artist to generate extra revenue in their control. See, myself and Noble believe in the artist regaining complete control over their work. And they can do that for the first time now in many years with an NFT. Now, the streaming service, we've looked at that. And personally, well, we didn't want to go down that path. With Noble's background in, in music. I say we won't add it later, but you can see the difference. In our format, every artist gets a chance to make money. And in this format where only the top five earn money, that doesn't, you know, how does that benefit? You know, you've got guys who are number nine, number, you know, 10, who have followings and probably have great music. How do they gain and earn money? And that's just been our, our whole focus from the beginning. If you're going to have exclusive content and you're going to have something that's special and unique, you should have a package. And the packaging is an NFT, gives the ability to have it and then sell it and share it. Now, if people want to just listen to it, they can come to our platform and just listen to it. They press the button and they can play it. But the ownership of it, it still resides in your hands. And when you sell that music NFT, you're really giving your fans, I believe, true value for your money. A absolutely. So look, it's it's a great uh, innovation. Like that, basically, the more people thinking in this space, the cooler it is. Like taking taking apart, you know, Web One, taking apart Web Two, and figuring out how can we reinvent things in a decentralized fashion for the future on blockchain? Streaming is one of those areas. Mm -hmm. And basically with the kind of monopoly that Spotify has, it's not going to be an easy uh, industry to, to get into and make a difference. And with artists already being screwed over by the music industry, personally, with the, as we were just saying, with five winners, as they say, per week, it's not going to get the artists those winnings that they have been missing out on. And mm -hmm. so now admittedly, like nobody's cracked it yet in uh, web three with music, myself and Noble, we're giving it a, a good go with band royalty and band NFTs. Mm -hmm. we, be we believe that NFTs offer the artists that way to, to really make some income. I'm not personally seeing that. I think this is a great way for the listeners. Actually, this looks pretty cool for a listener to just listen to some, some music for free. Noble, what, what, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, it's, it, it's this, again, it's just all the same. Uh, anything that is going to change people's habits is not going to happen overnight. And Spotify, we all know, is the outgrowth of Napster, and all these streaming services are outgrowth of the idea of Napster. Uh, and I think this 
idea of paying people directly as they're pl being played is also unique. Uh, I think that, that there's there's a there there. There's something going on here. I think that'll be a huge benefit, um, you know, for everybody. And uh, and, I, and I and I love where they're headed. Is just we've got to get to the point of making the tokens and utility make sense. With the NFTs, we know we can turn those into passes to movies, or not movies, but passes to uh, uh, being backstage, passes to a uh, concert venue. It becomes something that the, the actual band holds onto and can gain and earn court, uh, additional perks and uh, merchandise and clothing. When you have this format, and unfortunately, I under, kind of understand why Audius is trying to restrict the tokens that are out. You saw it, they're up at $4 at one point. And them being up at $4 really clearly shows that they are concerned about inflationary pressure. If they pay out every single artist in Audius, Audius tokens, then what happens when those artists decide to liquidate to collect fiat or collect USDT? And so it's always gonna be a constant pressure on the token to drive it down. And in, in our formatting, we just did it differently. When you have an NFT and it's an exclusive number of NFTs, you're not dealing with an inflationary pressure because they're exclusive. It's only 500, 700, 1,000, 3,000, such because that exclusivity of that NFT is specific to that artist. You're not really losing anything when it comes to inflationary pressure. And I think that's the real issue you know, when, when, you, when you have a token and you're handing it out to the artist, how do you stop it from self-imploding? So there's a lot of tokenomics that, you know, you and I went through, Barnaby, by hiring an economist, breaking down a multifaceted economy, having a governance token, having a social token, having an NFT, that really allows us to have a backbone structure that protects us, that when you have one token, which is the audio token, and that's your entire business, you have a lot to kind of try and struggle against and a lot of stuff to fight against, you know, being whipsawed and, and being beat up by uh, the whales in the industry. So I think Audius has got a lot of things right. They've got to figure out their tokenomics, to be honest. Yeah. Like we're, we're really excited that we've got the uh, the world's first multi-track music NFT over where basically it look, functions, looks like Spotify, and yet you have these separate MP3 files that they actually are uh, embedded in the NFT itself. So we're just wanting to clarify and explain to you the, these differences because there's many of these, there's a bunch of these platforms. Audius doesn't have anything to do with NFTs, but I was just fascinated um, to see over on their platform how they did list a bunch of you know top tier artists. Uh, we've all actually also done the same thing because over on Band Royalty, we have two halves of the operation. One half is enabling any artist to come and launch an NFT series where they make the revenue, which is great. We, we really believe that that's going to be a game changer. And the other is that we went and bought a music catalog with some of the world's top performing artists, like including Beyonce, Jay-Z, Justin Timberlake. Uh, it might Indiana. be the, old, the songs that you see up there are the actual songs we're earning royalties from. So we, we were very specific that these are performance royalties no, we're not tied to Justin Timberlake. No, we're never tied to Rihanna. But the beauty of it is we didn't have to be to gain percentages of the songs that they perform on. And so these are the songs fully listed and laid out. For sure. And so we literally went and bought a catalog, a music royalty catalog. Uh, Noble has these connections with these decades of experience in the music industry. That's what enabled us to go and get that. So we do own the performance rights to these incredibly top tier artists. That's why we put it up there. That was the first NFT series that we launched last year. If you can, you can still get your hands on, on one of those because you get to earn on the royalties here. But I'm just contrasting it because when I was over on the Audius site, because I'm just curious because they listed on the front page some of these uh, top tier artists. Um, and when I did a search, one of them was, was Katy Perry. And when I did a search on, on her inside the Audius platform, well, there's zero playlists and... Uh, 2.7 thousand followers you can follow but she hasn't posted anything yet so that's actually i'm just this is the first time you and i know have looked at this this is really interesting that basically they've gone and uh and listed a bunch of you know these incredible artists with their 
with their photos, with all their details. And uh, I mean, let's just go and have a look and see how if any of these have actually, if any of them have a listing. Uh, you know, Dead Mouse has been good, doing a great job in the space. I wouldn't be surprised if Dead Mouse is a lot more active. Let's have a look. He does. Look at it. You were right. Nine tracks. Nine tracks over here. Okay. Tier two, silver. 53,000 followers. No, but it's kind of interesting. So, again, they don't earn the audience, but you can actually tip them. Click that, tick them in audio, in audio tokens. So, because I like you, I want to tip you. It's almost like a Patreon site at that point. It is like that. Like why? Why would I tip you? You're you're performing, and if I'm listening to you, you should automatically be receiving the audio token. So are they telling me I need to buy audio tokens and then turn around and give that to the artists that I like? Yes, that seems to be how it's working. So what else? Now, was... The albums go down below. It says now this king's disease uh, under albums going. There it is. So then, is it is he listed? Who is it listed by? Is that the same? Is that non? Interesting. Yeah, it's a little bit hard to, to navigate that. Seventy-seven followers. I don't think that's him. Yeah, that couldn't be that. So, okay, so. Anybody can list. Hang on, how does this work? Is that anybody listing anybody's track? Well, it looks like this guy, Nona Serdanaxila, uploaded this Nazis King's Disease 2. Right. And so he uploaded all those 15 tracks by the looks of without permission from Nas, right? I, you know, I, I don't want to jump to conclusions. I really don't even know. Uh, but let's see what the play button. Let's see how, how play, we can actually play the music. Oh, you, you see it is del deleted by artist. So maybe he had to remove it. Where is it say deleted by artist? Oh, look, so, every, by every track. Ah, so the that's why they're not playing. So maybe he did it, uh, like you just said, uh, against approval. And so all of a sudden he had to delete them because well, it wasn't not his album. As you said, we're not clear, but it's certainly that's not the an account controlled by Nuz. Nuz. And so Correct. basically, it looks to me like maybe he did that, like as though any one of us went up there and uh, that wasn't cool. So it's an interesting uh, model that they've got here. Yeah, I, think the, I think the biggest, you know, if that, that's a security problem, to be honest, right? That anyone could just upload anyone's music. And then you have to kind of backtrack into that. All right, type in Jason Derulo. That 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 should be easy to find. Okay. Oh, well, you know what? Steve Aoki is big in uh, crypto. Let's see. let's see what he's put up. And then there's Blau right there. I think it's three L A U. Here we go. Let's look at this one. All right, he approved purple account. Okay, so Steve, Steve Oak, he's got he's got one and a half thousand followers, one track. So that, that's working. Well, that's, I mean that that's that's kind of interesting for the platform, right? Steve Aoki is a hundred percent worldwide DJ with millions of followers. I'm curious why only one point five four thousand followers would sign up to track him. Maybe it's just too early in the development of the program. It only looks like there's one track. See if blah, blah is the same track. Okay, I'm just checking like when we look over at Steve's on here. Yeah, he's got 8.2 million followers over on Twitter. One and a half thousand followers here with one track at Silver Level joined, you know, more than about a year ago. So you said time to add more music. And... Who, which, uh, what Justin shall we? Oh, Jason, Jason, Derulo. oh, Jason. Hang on, but we've got Justin Bieber's here as well. Is that so? It's his track, but not his name. And so it looks like how they're doing it is if you're a purple check mark, you are approved. Okay, so this one wasn't removed like the other guy had his removed. 
Well, it says by Justin Bieber. Click Justin Bieber's name. See if oh, yeah. Account. Here we go. Only 300 followers? This is getting strange. Like, what's going on with this? Personally, I'm... Like, six we've got tracks. only three, less than 300 followers, six tracks. But you know, it's not a purple checked account, by the way. It doesn't look like it's in a, you know, a, like a guaranteed account, or whatever, or, or uh, however they're doing it. Right. And that means that when you click on tip audio, who's that going to if it's not going to Justin Bieber? And I can't. Oh, here we go. Over on Twitter, it's opening up that, and we'll see the. 114 million. Well, only 114 million followers. But less than 300 over here. So I got to say it, there's a bit of a disconnect happening. Well, I mean, it's, you know, in that respect, it, the market's early. You know, people yes. probably are not, you know, understanding what's going on when it comes to this type of streaming. Uh, DE. D. -E. D -E. Why is Jesse Rule not popping up? That, that's the only part that is a little bit D-E-R-U-L-O. So that's the part that's a little bit disconcerting to me. You have these artists on the front. I guess this might be his music company. Go down a little bit. There, the first one, Thunder Tracks. One more up. up. Oh. Yeah. That's not coming from him. That's from Jeanette. Jeanette. And, okay. So, I mean, I got to, so we were very careful actually not we were very careful with this listing only people that we'd actually bought the rights to so i wonder if those people are associated with them if you go back to type in jason derulo you, you'll see that there looks like maybe his music uh yeah there wasn't he didn't have an account no no go, go but yeah, type in his name and then the third down and it looks like maybe his uh okay this one it might be his record label the first track that goes down Go, go one more down. There you go. Culture Music Records. I wonder if that's his record label. Well, this one's this one's the opposite. It's following two and a half thousand, but it has 571 followers. And so they're collecting money for the, uh, the audio just for posting people's songs. I'm I'm confused. I don't I don't know. Well, basically, what, what about the listeners? Let's wrap it up. Uh, our review on audience is there a way for the uh for the listeners to earn audio or is it just i thought originally that people listening to uh audience could also earn was that not the yeah, case it's, it's hard to tell i mean do you earn money if you just post people's music because it, it definitely when i looked at it like more than a year ago um you would download it and start earning from just listening so explore the disc explore the dashboard Look for our music player, giving everyone the freedom to distribute, monetize and everyone and stream unstoppable audio. Connects fans directly with artists. Own your content. So by the looks of it, from what we've actually seen, anybody's uploading any artist's music and anybody is earning the tips. Well, um, maybe they're trying to do like the Spotify playlist and maybe you can just kind of... When you make your own playlist, you, you, you earn money. I, I don't know. It, it all sounds, it seems like it's uh, doing great in the sense of, you know, trying to be clear and simple with his message. Uh, it's got a little ways to go for adoption, just like our project. People are still learning to adopt and own NFTs. So it's not like we cracked the code also. Uh, but I, th I think it's, um, it's unique. It's interesting. So for the most part, I mean, I, I got to give audience, you know, thumbs up i mean they're, they're there they're they're pushing they're pushing it and uh they're not going to go away anytime soon and this is really going to be the, the the future of streaming anyway where somehow you're really paying and taking care of your artists directly absolutely so we've just taken a different take on it over on banded nfts launching mm -hmm. nfts for specific artists and uh basically giving them the power to have this new kind of revenue stream mm -hmm. on on uh, in web3 so everybody's got their own take on it. It's interesting to do that deep dive today into Audius. And uh, it's been great to do the review with you. No, that's for always. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And, and thanks a lot, everyone, for watching. And, uh, you know, there's things that we got wrong, things we got right. Just drop them below in the comments. If you love everything that we're doing, just subscribe to Crypto10x. 
Uh, we've got more stuff coming. We're growing uh, day by day, and we're just excited at where the Web3 music space is headed. Absolutely, everyone. Yep, subscribe and like, and we'll see you for the next one.